What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out this tip from turningpointmusic.net. Today, I want to do a tip on how to randomize your velocity with key commands. So a quick tip, but one that I use all the time. So I have a session open here with some piano, which happens to be ivory, but it doesn't matter. This applies to anything at all that's MIDI. So let's take a listen to how this straight kind of clunky, well, clunky because it's all the same velocity. So randomizing your velocity with MIDI is one of those you got to do it kind of things most of the time. Uh, why should we bother to have these badass instruments with multi-velocity layered samples if we're not going to use it? So let's first take a listen to what Ivory sounds like uh, with my nice verb and delay and everything, but with a, a straight velocity of 110. Let's take a listen. So I think it sounds very robotic. It's very, it's perfectly on the grid and the velocities are all the same. So with piano, I would probably end up doing a little bit by hand, but I'm going to do the bulk of the work through event operations. So I'm going to go option zero and then command down. So those are the first two things to remember. Option zero, command down. So you can see that takes us to our change velocity screen. So once we set this once with our mouse, when we come back, it'll stay where we want, where we had it. And you'll see what I mean. So what I want to do when I want to really just randomize, you have to think of this window like, okay, I have to pick one thing from the top and then I'm going to pick one thing from the bottom. In other words, I'm going to choose scale by and I'm going to say like 90%, let's say. And then I'm going to randomize by, let's leave it at 21, but I would suggest somewhere between, you know, 1 and 25 maybe. And then I can say apply and I can just keep hitting enter and see that it keeps doing it. And the cool thing about this is even if I save and close and come back tomorrow and get out of this window completely, now if I go option zero, command down, check it out, it's still on there. So that means just straight from a couple of key commands and then enter, 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 if, as you can see it doing it, we can get right to that function. And let's take a listen to it now without even trying to make it nice. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I think that's already so much better, so much more realistic. If I wanted to go a little step further and change the timing a little bit, I could actually just go command up like I did and I could randomize the timing just a touch. And I would do this on a much smaller value. Let's try six. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm using T to zoom in just so we can see these move a little bit more clearly. So they are shifting around just a little bit. Let's do a little more. So you can see that now they're they're very much humanized, if you will. Logic has a function with those two things together. It's a similar idea here. We're just doing them separately. If I leave here now, option zero again and come back, option zero, it remembers that as well. If I go command down, it remembers my, my scale by 90 and randomize, then I go command up and it also remembers my timing randomization there as well. So it's a smart window. It remembers what you did last. Try it out. <laughs> 